half a million people die every year from malaria. Half a million. That's roughly the population of Edinburgh. Except the people who die of severe malaria are mainly young children living in some of the poorest countries of the world. Now, it may surprise you to know that not everyone who gets malaria gets really sick. If we're talking about these children in Africa, of those who get malaria, about one in 10 will develop potentially life-threatening symptoms. And of those, one in 10 will die. So what we need to figure out, what's different about these severe cases compared to the uncomplicated ones? Now, you probably know you get malaria by being bitten by an infected mosquito. The mosquito injects the malaria parasite into your body, where its ultimate aim is to get into your red blood cells. When it does this, it sort of hijacks the cells and forces it to display sticky projections on the outer surface. These sticky projections can latch on to other red blood cells that haven't yet been infected, and they form big clumps of cells called rosettes. And that's an example of what a rosette looks like under the microscope. These rosettes form much more commonly in the severe cases of malaria compared to the uncomplicated ones. And we think they cause problems because they cause obstruction in the tiny blood vessels throughout your body, but particularly in the brain where it can lead to seizures, coma and death. Now, the problem is our current anti-malarial treatments have no effect on this process at all. They can kill a parasite, but they can do nothing to disrupt these rosettes. So we need to figure out how rosettes form and what we can do to stop them. So what am I doing about this? Well, I'm really interested at the interface between the infected and uninfected red cells. In particular, I want to know what are the tiny structures on your uninfected red cells that the infected ones use to latch on. So, in the lab, I grow malaria. I feed it fresh human red blood cells and I allow these clumps to form. Then I can use specific chemicals that block certain structures on your uninfected red blood cells and observe what happens to the rosettes. I found that when I blocked a specific structure called right B, the rosettes just fall apart. I went on to test this further using genetically engineered red blood cells that have no right B, and I found these cells can't form rosettes. This is fantastic news because it tells us that we need to target right B when we're looking to develop new medications that we can give to relieve the obstructions caused by rosettes in severe malaria. Now, we're not there yet. Malaria is a really clever enemy that us humans have been fighting for literally thousands of years. But I hope that the next stage of my research will help develop the medication that we can give to children suffering from severe malaria to help prevent those deaths that are occurring right now.